Chef Bisa 2018 threshold. Time keep us 60 seconds. Welcome to Team Bisa for this running party. We are at the starting line for the senior men's race at the Mokulong Stadium. And on the starting line, we have Ranzi Mukapan, the defending champion of last year. But this year, coming to take down his title is a pack of hungry lions. And no, we're not talking sprinter Simon Mahakwe. We're talking a group of 800 meter athletes, including 146 runners, Tepo Tite and Jabulani Namane. Also in this race is a world record holder. This is LJ Van Sale in the 200 meter hurdles. Maybe Donald Matipa, the organizer, is trying to get something going here for the sprinters as well. But straight to the front is Tabang Matiwane from UJ. Ryan Bakhlele said before this race that he is gonna try and go out really fast, but it seems like Matiwane is one step ahead of him in this race. Bakhlele, the clear favorite on paper in 2018 in this race. He has been on fire running PVs left, right and center. Who can forget that epic 3.59 sub 4 minute mile that he ran. Also a 3.40 on the 1500 meters. But still in the lead at this stage is Tabang Matiwane. The rest of the field are not going with them. But on his shoulder is Tsepo Tsite as Tien's Ehlers leads the chasing pack. Matewane now leads them around the second turn in this race in a 107. That's three seconds faster than Madima and Namane took them around last year. Those two EC athletes hanging at the back at this stage. But Matewane is doing a great job of filling the shoes of Klaus Seloba, the mighty elephant who is not in here today. But Ryan Bachlele is sticking in there as the pace is faster than last year. Last year he stuck with that pace and his legs came off in the end. But coming from Durban with a 28 minute 10k on the legs, he must have the legs for it this year. As Matiwane still leads it out and Tepo Tite looks very comfortable on the shoulder of Ryan Bachlele. It is still a three horse race as Tabang Matiwane leads them out. Round about this mark, they passed in 1.55 last year. Let's check the time, 1.53, so it is definitely faster. And these freeze guys are still in it as Matiwane is now off. Ryan Pachlele now takes the lead with Tepo Tite tracing his every step. Tabang Matiwane did a very good job in bringing the guys through 800 meters in 1.53. Pachlele was looking for a 1.54, so that is exactly on the mark he was looking for. Let's see what he does the rest of this race as he is on his own. Tepo Tite is just sticking at the back as they come around the second last turn before they head around that last turn on that slight incline with the eyes, but in the mind it's a massive hill and in your legs as well. Last year, this time, the entire field was still in this race, but not this year. But Ryan Pastelele looking over his shoulder, the wrong shoulder, he's looking because Tepo Tite is on the other side, but he's still leading them out and he's looking very good. It's an 800 meter specialist versus a 1500 and up specialist, Ryan Pastelele, the king. Last year, Tepo Tite was in the same position as they come around the last turn. Mpachlede is striding out now and Tepo Tite is not sticking with him. The same thing he did last year. He couldn't stick with that pack of Jerry Mutsa and the guys, but Ryan Pachlele is stretching the legs now. He's going for it. It's going to be his title, except if something really drastic happens. But this is the Temisa Street Mall. You can never be too sure. So let's not count out Tepo Tite yet, but Ryan Pachlele, he's checking his shoulder. He's making sure that no one nips him on the line as he continues to stretch the legs and pump the arms. It's a totally different race than last year. This time last year, there was about five guys still in it with Ryan not being one of them but this year he's in the lead Tite is still trying to hold on he's not letting go that gap is not getting any bigger and it looks like they're from the side someone's gonna challenge Tite for the second owner is not in this race as Ryan Pastlele continues to stride out pumping those arms he can see the finish line now he can already taste that gold but something else is on the cards as well the record of 406 is in danger can Ryan Pastlele get to that record of 406 with him which they missed so closely last year it's 358 350 9, 4 minutes, 4, 1, he's gonna get it, 4, 2, Ryan Patlele smashes that record with 4 seconds as Tepo Tite takes the second place. Let's check who's gonna take that bronze, it's Namani and William Motosola, but Motosola comes in for third, Namani in fourth, fifth, Cabello Melamu and in sixth, Tienz Ehlers. Here comes the easy athlete, Temba Matima, 4.20, that must be a massive PB for him. 
Cabello Mustosi is in there as well and we see now Kalalero Kipchoge Matabata coming in as well and there's Rantsu Mokopan your defending champion Eon Slinking Slinger is there Braid van Staden from Eldorain but just look at that to some out there is the new kid on the block but here in Timbisa he grew up on the block just look at the excitement of Donald Matipa he is celebrating a Tembisa athlete has won the threshold Tembisa street mile and not only that but a Tembisa athlete now holds the record as well no wonder Matipa is this happy yeah my name is Ryan Patlele aka King Ryan the Tembisa dog boy and I'm the reigning Tembisa street mile champion my name means little king so I was named after a famous soccer player which is Ryan Geeks and then apparently I just found out on the internet from the Irish origin that Ryan means king, little king, so yeah, I'm king. <laughs>